talk about how when you're getting your landscaping business off the ground, it can seem daunting or overwhelming. Like how are you going to afford to buy a truck? How are you going to afford to buy a trailer when they're so expensive? Well, in this video, I want to show you how cheap I got all my stuff used off Craigslist. It's going to be pretty um, amazing because it's so uh, cheap. Here, I'll, I'll walk with you. This trailer here, which we're going to get vinyl wrap soon. Uh, this is a 12 by 6 cargo trailer with a drop down gate. This is, these are usually two grand on Craigslist. I found this for $750. I called the guy over and over and over and I went there and I got it because my old pickup truck, not this old Dakota, I had an old piece of crap rusted out Dakota called a Blue Goose. It was like in the 90s. And I was piling up all my hand tools and all my stuff and blowers in the back of that truck, right? So finally got the trailer, 750 bucks for a trailer. If you keep looking and looking and looking, you'll find something for under a grand. This Dakota right here, uh, Dakotas are 2,500. I found this for 13. Or 1450, and I talked him down to 1350 in person to get this Dakota. Built the sidewalls on the back for a couple hundred bucks. Got extra leaf springs added in the back because when I first started, I hooked up a trailer, it dropped to the ground. <laughs> extra leaf springs is 300 bucks. So this truck has been running for three years solid. Just, uh, you know, we put maintenance into it and stuff. And all the hand tools, you know, that stuff's cheap. But 1300 bucks, 750 bucks truck and trailer to run your landscaping business okay now walking over here to my other truck and trailer this black cargo trailer right here you see uh homemade ladder racks on top this trailer was in the middle of the winter because no one really spends money in the winter a guy was selling this on craigslist i was looking and looking and looking and looking a thousand bucks cash a thousand bucks i couldn't find these for under 2500 thousand bucks it's a single axle so you can't put big mowers and riders in it that's the problem you could probably put one in there maybe walk by but not two you know what i'm saying your average rider is like eight thousand pounds or something thousand bucks for that craigslist cash and, and and saved up boom got it this f-150 uh four by four you can't find them for under 3500 right i kept looking and looking and looking for six months straight every day and every night three times a day on craigslist a guy posted this for $1,400, this F-150. I'm eating dinner with uh, my wife in a restaurant. We gotta go right now. She's like, what? 1400 bucks. I flew down and I met the guy. I was standing waiting with my hand on the truck with the for sale sign on it, waiting for the guy to meet me. And what do you know? There are other people waiting in their cars with money, but I was there first. I was hovering around it like, <laughs> because <laughs> you know, right? So. Uh, guy pulled up, and what do you think? He pulled up in a brand new F-150, and he was selling that. The guy worked at Ford. Didn't really know what it was worth. Probably busy working and hadn't gone on Craigslist. Didn't know it was worth $2,500, $3,500. So I got it, drove it around. It had a slight exhaust leak, and the 4x4 didn't work. So I got $1,300. $1,300 for an F-150. And then on the drive home after I bought it, boom, 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 paid $1,300. I smacked the 4x4 switch and the 4x4 started working. Saved 100 bucks right there. Got extra leaf springs put on the back of that so it can hold more weight for 300 bucks. Built a box on the back of that for 200 bucks. So what do we got? 1300 and 1000. That's 2300 plus the Dakota and that trailer. It's another what uh 2 grand. So 23 3300 for two trucks and two trailers. What a brand new 17 by uh, six trailer is going to cost you 3,500 if you buy it new. How are you ever going to get a business off the ground if you're buying stuff brand new if you don't have the money, right? I mean, we all know what, what we do for a living until you're um, doing big landscape projects and you're doing big installs and whole sprinkler systems maybe taking down whole trees until you're really getting into it and you got a lot of equipment and experience you're not going to make a lot of money at first so you got to buy used stuff all my backpack blowers were here i mean i'll show you our stuff's filled up right now 
the backpack blowers I got in the beginning were from pawn shops, from Craigslist, anywhere I could get them cheap as possible. I was buying Red Max used backpack blowers for like 150 bucks. I was buying trimmers for 200 bucks, uh, line trimmers, weed whips for 150, 125 from pawn shops. I bought that one used off Craigslist, the EBZ 8001 for like 240 or something from a guy, a landscape company was buying brand new ones. And um, man, this place, this thing's a mess right now. We clean it every day though. And uh, just all the hand tools, that'll, that'll run you a lot of money. All that stuff you're seeing right there, that's like thousands of dollars and just little tiny odds and ends. But it all builds up over time. So after, after like two years of being in business, one day you're gonna go in your trailer and go, oh my God, look at all this shit. How did I get all this? You'll open up just a, a toolbox and it'll be filled with crazy nuts and bolts and all types of gadgets and crazy stuff and springs and hand tools and, and screwdrivers because you, every time you go to Home Depot, oh, you need a toolbox, right? You need another toolbox. You need a screwdriver set. You need a ratchet set. And now you are working your ass off. You're gonna work 100 hours a week and reinvest everything the first couple years. I think I was reinvesting for the first three and a half years. Just. Uh, it was an average, I did, I averaged the math out. It was an average of $500 a month, every single month, for three and a half years. And now it's just upkeep, maintenance, new tools. Only buy brand new stuff now, like hand tools, trimmers. But what I'm saying is, it's hard to to get it off the runway. It takes a long time. You gotta really keep your nose to the grindstone and just work your ass off. But one day, you're gonna be like, I have all the tools I could possibly need to run an entire landscape business have multiples of tools right and then that's when you start making more profit and then sock that money away you know that's when you got well if you should right away you know license insurance and paying taxes and all that uh be honest with uh, you i wasn't able to do that right away because i didn't even know what to charge i couldn't even keep my lights on at my house let alone uh, be having insurance and all that stuff in the beginning if you want the truth but as soon as i got the money i went and sat down with an insurance guy and a uh, and i hired a cpa an accountant and sat down all nervous i'm like dude i gotta get this shit going but how do i do it and they're like calm down calm down and then i learned that paying taxes on a business a small business owner and when you learn the tax law and you read books like um Save on Taxes, big time, phenomenal book. Own Your Own Corporation by Robert Kiyosaki. Tax-Free Wealth by Kiyosaki's Advisors. All these amazing audio audiobooks you can get on audible.com. Um, you learn a lot of stuff. Save all your receipts, uh, track your mileage. Uh, it's a lot to learn in the beginning when you're just trying to get money to get the thing going. It is, it's very overwhelming and it does take time but if you keep going, one day you'll come up from under the water, you like that, and, and you'll start making money. And then before you know it, for like the first time in your life, if you're like I was, broke. The most money I ever had in my bank account was like seven to hundred to thousand to fifteen hundred bucks in a job. And then one day, my my life goal, dude. A little younger, I was like, what would it be like to have $5,000 in cash? What would it be like? $5,000 is really not a lot of money. But when I finally hit $5,000, I was like, I did it. I did it. I had $5,000. And I think I uh, I bought myself a pair of Oakley sunglasses used on Craigslist. Originally 150 and I got them for like 80 bucks new on Craigslist. And that was my, my gift to myself. And then once you like... You pass 5000 and then you finally get $10,000, you realize, oh my God, this is not a lot of money at all because now you got all these business expenses and you've got to have five grand uh, on the side at all time just in case something breaks down, man. Just in case. Um, you know, I might talk about all that, but I'm not telling you about how just in the past two weeks alone, I have $942 in automotive vehicle repair expenses and some other crazy shit that happened. Forrest broke the windshield on the uh, F-150. Don't ask me how. Uh, the brakes went out in the Dakota. He rear-ended a cop. I had to pay the cops deductible. This is crazy. Then just maintenance on older trucks. Um, probably looking at getting a brand new truck here now soon, but I don't want a payment, man. I, I take pride in, um, how are you? I take pride in driving used vehicles. So, and, and that's really cool. 
because in the winter time until you're plowing snow for yourself and stuff like that if you start making really good money in the summer sock that all away and then always go back to the drawing board write it all down and I'm, I'm really speaking to new guys here you can totally do it keep posting ads on craigslist uh, make all these online profiles on every different website that will let you from like linkedin to to facebook to instagram to pinterest to you create a blog and post on there and all that stuff kind of generates seo optimization on the internet to get excuse me you up the ranks of google make sure every customer gets extra business cards order magnets for the business cards stick them on there excuse me give them to the customers pass out door hangers flyers and the more you do it, and when you're out working and you finally can afford to get graphics on your trailer and you're smiling and you're working, cause neighbors will come out and then you're getting referrals. And, and it takes a while to get the tidal wave going, but it, it really does work. And then before you know it, you're your own boss. And then you can walk around while your guys are working and you can make funny videos. No, it's not that easy, man. It's a real double-edged sword. But, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, my video course is finally done it's out you can check it out check the link in the description below of this video and I, I put an entire year making this course and I tried to price it as cheap as possible so anybody can get their hands on it because it cost me a lot of time and money to put the thing together but check it out man and I hope you get something out of it I'm Keith Kelfus peace